Hey guys, um, I wanted to do a final One Book July setup or update. Um, I moved covers, but everything inside has kind of remained the same. I added something a little bit after the bullet journal for future planning, but that's about it. Um, right now I'm in my Sweet Pea Mr. Darcy. I got fortunate enough to grab one. Uh, it's the same as the other Mr. Darcy's. It's just in a lovely pink color. Um, I put some charms on the outside. I got these from Michaels and just put it on a lobster clasp. And I made a bookmark inspired by everyone's adorable owl bookmarks. <laughs> so if we go inside, <clears throat> I'm using this um, more as a wallet now, I guess, because I'm not bringing in both things. Um, if I run into a store and it's pocket size, so it's a little bit easier to grab, I just keep my debit card in there. And some cash in the back pocket here. My first notebook is still my brain dump. Um, I've been using a lot of the, the semicolon flag things here to just mark things I needed to refer back to. Um, and yeah, that's been really helpful. You could just kind of flip to them easily. On the second elastic, I still have my Foxy Fix dashboard with some post-its on the front and inside I have a picture of my husband and I and just a cute tag that I got from Michaels. Um, in the middle of that I have my monthly insert and in there I literally just track income on the side here in the sidebar and then bills that are due and any important birthdays. It's just nice to see the month at a glance. In the back I have um, birthdays and anniversaries and then this I just kept together because it's just personal information like um, social security numbers, addresses, and important things I need there. This is my travel itinerary, again wish list for my husband and I, um, video ideas, and still haven't filled up the back. These are favorite shops. I put post-its for um, general goals. I was going to put that in the back there, but I really haven't taken the time to fill up the last couple pages. Uh, this is the back of the Foxy Fix dashboard. I just stuck the semicolon tabs on here. I didn't use double-sided tape or anything. They just stuck right on, and I haven't had a problem with them. And then on the third elastic, I have my passport zip pouch. I keep some washi in here, um, just on cards. Then in the back, I just have a receipt from dry cleaning. I still need to pick up. I'm terrible about it. And a lovely photo from my pen pal, Jen, if you're watching. Hi, Jen. Uh, she's from Nevada, so it's a nice picture of the desert. I don't know if she took that or if she just had it, but it's really cool. We don't really have cacti in New York, so it's nice to see. On Around my bullet journal, I put a piece of vellum just because I thought it was pretty and uh, made it more interesting. Um, then I have my bullet journal. Uh, the future planning page uh, was here. And I put some birthdays and things there, but I really have been using something else for future planning. I think I'll continue to use this for major things that come up in the upcoming months. But you'll see in the back I use a DIY fish insert for my future planning. So, <clears throat> yeah, these have just been my days. I use a full page for my days off and then um, a bunch on a page. I don't know what. I have the rest of the week then when I'm working because I have a very busy work schedule. Like, I work long hours, so I can fit it all on two pages the rest of the week. And then my days off when I'm doing more, I take uh, a page for each. And that's been working out really nice, and I've been using all of my planner stickers that I had from my Erin Condren. And yeah, it's just been, it's been fun to decorate. Then in the back there, I have just some sticky notes again that I put on here, and I've been using these in, not so much in the bullet journal, but in the future planning section, which is right back here. And these are the DIY fish inserts. I don't know what version they are. They're the field note size, um, vertical week on two pages. Yeah, vertical week on two pages. This is how they look like. I started by doing some decorating with my Erin Condren stickers, but that's really not what I kind of needed it for. So then I got really rough with it and just have been jotting down 
different things that I know are coming up in the upcoming days, but I haven't decorated like a spread yet for them in my bullet journal. And that's been actually really working out great. I love the idea. I don't have anything in my head that I'm like, okay, I need to remember to put this down uh, the next day or whatever. I just literally put it in here. And then when I'm um, making the spread, I then just go back to whatever page I'm doing and uh, or whatever day I'm doing and just look at what I wrote down. And that's been really easy for me. So I've been enjoying that a lot. I think I'll continue to keep that up. And yeah, that's really the major change I had here in my notebook. Um, that's just the end of the vellum, the end of the zip pouch, um, and then a folder which I just keep some stickers and I had some paste stubs in there. And then my journal which is in the back. Uh, I haven't been doing it as much as I'd like but I've been kind of busy and running around so maybe I'll get to doing some today. Um, but no, it's nice to have a journal in here because sometimes I do like to just write down what we're doing or if we're doing something special or whatever. It's a good place for memory keeping. Then in the back zip, uh, the back zip secretarial pocket, I have some stickers. I had a prescription for my husband, a check I need to deposit, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'll show you my bookmark if you'd like to see. It was really easy. There's these really cute beads at Michael's. Um, I have that. Oh, just ripped off my July tab. Okay. Um, yeah, so these are just little owl charm, uh, owl beads that I got from Michael's. I thought they were really cute, and I just put it on a cotton twine string. I also found there some, what is this, like a rose bead, and then some other beads that I put on, and these really cute little fish. With, wait, I'll try and show you the adorable little face. I don't know if it's gonna, if you can see that. There you go. Yeah, so I thought those were really cute. Um, and yeah, it's just some beads on cotton. And yeah, I've been really enjoying that. So that is the final setup. Um, I've been using my two pens, just enjoying the, the different variety of colors. I don't do color coding or anything, but I like having different colors with me. And yeah, so if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. And I look forward to seeing all of your conclusions of your One Book July adventures. And I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye.